Okay, so here we are in the middle of Home Firth and uh, we're about to see probably the most, probably one of the most prominent spots for the tourists. That's the cafe, Bill's Cafe. And uh, Barry Tucker was the producer and he used to, you know, he wanted them to use all these prominent places around Home Firth. And it actually, at one point, it, it kind of, um, look, I'm going to let you see. I'm going to spin the camera so you can see the centre there, look. Nice pub over there. Uh, the, the local people got a little bit tired with all the filming and at one point um, <laughs> they actually I think they put a thing in the story that they were gonna sell Nora Batty's home you know um, but a lot of it was filmed it was filmed here and then they did the scenes down in London in front of a live audience uh, to get the natural laughter because the, they didn't want to put the canned the canned laughter in so <clears throat> that was the reason but here we are, we're here. Let's get to the important bits, not me. There we go. Here we are. Sid's Cafe. So what they did later on, they filmed the episodes and showed it in front of a live audience to get the natural laughter. You know, they didn't want the canned laughter. So that's where all the scenes were done. Let's have a look through the cafe window then. <coughs> Just thinking of the number of people that come here to see this, the fans. We can get clotted fudge there, look. Oh, it's queuing. I bet it does well as a cafe, don't you? Don't know how well you can see because of the reflection, really, but... There we go. So this is the square. Nice old church there as well. There's a lovely feel around here. It's just, I like this scenery. It's, it's the... The hills, it's like Halifax and all these places, they, they, you know, they're in the bowl of the valley. So there we go. <coughs> Coffee shop there. Like, look at them old stairs there. I don't, you just love them out of all worn away over the last 200 years, whatever it is, they've been there. Look at the thousands of people that have worn them down. Eh? And of course the music was by Ronnie Hazelhurst and he, he did a lot of theme tunes, he did the Last of the Summer Wine and he did um, Only Fools and Horses and Yes Minister and he did another one and I, I remember the initials, this A-Y-B-S but ask me what the programme is now, I can't remember I remember the initials but uh, he produced all the music and it said that this programme was so popular even though in the 1980s they did actually say um, it was losing its popularity but you know it wasn't really true because even even on the repeats they sometimes were getting five million viewers so it was it was a massive success even you know then so we're now going to the wrinkly stockings and we all know who that is the sex symbol of the show composed love Nora Batty so we're going to walk down there and there we go, let's go back round to the town there we are so now we're coming to uh, the Norabati actually we can walk round so let's have a little tootle around there but it's called the Wrinkly Stocking Tea Room I know, I know that there is a bed and, um, sorry, a holiday cottage. So I know one of them is, but we have a little pub here at end as well. It's a really nice place. And we shouldn't forget, I mean, there was a lot of very famous actors in this. You know, it had um, Jane Freeman, Ivy, Jean Ferguson Marina, Robert Fife, Howard. They were the two that were always, you know, she was the naughty bit. Thora Heard, uh, Ida. ED, sorry. Jean Alexandra, she was the auntie, of course, she was um, also in Coronation Street with Fred, Fred Ogden. Stephen Lewis, he played um, Smiler, of course, he was on the buses as well. He, used to, he was one of the funnier characters on that, I thought. Uh, John, what do they call him now? John Corner, Corner, Sid's Cafe, Sid, you know, the, the fat chap. And of course there was an app, oh it's a lovely stream down there, look at that. 
Elephant and Castle, it's like London. And then there was a lot of people that were surprisingly in it for some episodes. Norman Wisdom was in it and Billy Ingerton. Kenneth Cope, Randall Opkirk, you know. John Cleese was even in some episodes. Brian Murphy, of course, from uh, oh, what was the programme now? Brian Murphy in the comedy. Spin off of Robin's Nest. Oh, Mildred. Oh, I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. Bill Nort. June Whitfield. She was in some. Russ Abbott. Bobby Ball, even. The Wrinkly Stocking. Oh, there, look, it's a, it's a shop and exhibition. But it's closed. What a shame. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the programme, but I can see its appeal. Um, you know, I saw it from being a teenager, well, young. I saw it from being young, and now later in life I'm getting near to their age, but it was, you know. This is, is this the steps where I used to go to see her and she'd chase him out. Let's have a look. Got the steps. Oh, is it further on? Wait on. Here we are. A up, Compose House, Yorkshire's finest, lovable rogue. Lived at this address, 1973 to 1999. So that's Compose. There we are. Yeah, very, very scenic place. There's good old Nora. I once saw her in a cafe because I did a bit of uh, extra TV work and she came in and <laughs> she was a good, good, really good character. Uh, I think she, this was probably her biggest role. I think that's the holiday cottage there now. Let's have a look around the corner. See what there is. It's a little hideaway, isn't it? Just have a look, just out of interest. Ah, yeah, okay. Oh, it just takes you back to the main road. Yeah, it does, yeah. Oh, the, 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 the winkle stag. Busy road. Okay. This is a, I mean, this is a great place to visit, even if it was nothing to do with Lassa's summer wine. Smoker's paradise. <sighs> Look at those steps. I just love those stone steps out of one. I want to know how many steps you've got to, how many times you've got to stand on that step to wear it down that much. Put, tell me in the comments below. We're going to head over to see the final resting place of Bill Owen and Peter Sellis next. Lovely stream. There's the tea room. So that is Compose House then, I hope I'm right. Yeah. So Nora was up there, wasn't she? I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I think that's where she was. And this must have been Compose down here. Yeah. So off we go to the church. See you at the next stop. And we've come to see the grave of uh, Compo, played by, uh, it was called Compo Simonite, and that was the character name. Look, there is always going to be a car when you start to film. <laughs> that guy has just waited for me to start, and now he's laughing at me. Uh, Compo Simonite, but of course they call him Compo all the time. And Norman Clegg, that was uh, Peter Sellers. Um, actually, Peter Sellers was in the episode of The Persuaders, one of my favourite programmes, so I know him. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to see the grave in a second. Before I walk in the church, because we don't know where it is yet, we're going to have a look for the grave, but it's only small by the look of it. Um, I was actually in a, watching a scene being made by the cafe a few years back, and this is 100% true. I mean, I'm not saying it was sinister or weird, but um, 
Compo was in the scene and he didn't look good that day. It's true, he really didn't look good that day. But, and he, he looked frail. It was near the end of his performances. And he, he looked at me, I swear, maybe I was staring at him and he looked me in the eyes and he looked sort of not, not good, you know, like he was perturbed that day. And he walked to the car and I remember he banged his head getting in the back seat. You know, they, they sort of help him in by pressing the head down. Then he banged his head and I thought, oh, poor sod, you know. What a shame. But the weird bit is, and this is 100% true, I'm going to try and find it, took a photograph of him outside the cafe, and everybody's there, and the only person that was faded in the photograph, the only one, was Compo. Isn't that strange? And, um, you know, if it was a fault with the camera, but every other person was sharp, and he was the only one faded out. So take of it as you wish, and he died very shortly after that, by the way, a few days later. So there we go. Anyway, look, I'm going to swing him around. I want you to see the church because it, it's super pretty. Look at that. It's great, isn't it? it it's actually um, a home firth and it's a beautiful place full of hills. I mean, it nearly burnt my clutch out in my motorhome down there. Richard was guiding me. He's navigated out. Look, he's, he, <laughs> he told me to go down this awfully steep road. Nearly ruined my vehicle. So there we are. That's the church. So let's head in and find Compo. Okay, so I'm going to swing it around now because we'll find out where, where he is, or where they are, sorry, both of them. And the very first episode, lovely, lovely place, look. The very first episode was the 12th of November, 1973. And the very last episode, which was called Don't Cry at Weddings, was the 29th of August, 2010. So, and by the way, this is... Um, a pin pick, pin prick production. We call it that because I'm as sharp as a pin, and Richard is as uh, big as a tall chap. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's cute. Nice. Oh, nice. I do actually I always love graveyards. I don't know what it is about them. They're just peace. Is that it there? Is that the one? Yeah? Wow. Oh. I don't know, you get a sense of, um, like you, well, you're in the presence of a, you know, oh, look at this, it's super cute. Wow, there you go, look at that. Oh, look at the Wellingtons. Really sweet, isn't it? They're all like little children's Wellingtons as well. They actually real out of course they yeah. are. Look, people are putting them there out of tribute, yeah, it's brilliant. There we go. Bill Owen, MBE, loved and missed you. Tom Mary, James and William. Oh yeah, let's have a look at this here. Try to read that one. Please oh, please do not leave money on this grave. The nations will will please do not, yeah. The nations towards his upkeep are still welcome and can be left in the jar beside the church, thank you. So, yeah, so all those little Wellingtons there from young fans. And uh, there's the headstone, the main headstone there, look. Very sweet. What's this then? Here lies William Owen Rowbottom. That's just somebody else, isn't it? Oh, it must be a rela relation. To it. Dedicated to his wife, Cathy. What was that then? Just somebody else, isn't it? it it's obviously somebody in the uh, in the in the business because it shows the you know the the masks that donate an actor. Where's the other one then, Peter Sellers? What? Where? Peter Sellis, there we go. There we are. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is Peter Sellis' grave. Very really nice indeed. What's the little figurine then that's there? Is that, is that's what Wallace and Gromit? Oh, of course! Yeah, of course it's Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, Wallace and Gromit is the voice, isn't he, of Wallace and Gromit? There's a little plaque, look. 
in love in memory of Peter Sellis. Yeah. June 2017, always in our hearts. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near. So loved, so missed, and so very dear. That's super. Peter Sellis was in 294 episodes. Bill, I mean, that, I think it was 295 episodes. So which one did, which one did he miss? Somebody put it in the comments. But um, Bill Owen, he was in 185, obviously. He died before the series finished. So that would be interesting. I don't know which one he wasn't in. So, yeah, it's a real... A little, little fact about the series was that... I mean, the writer, Roy Clark, he's got to also be, you know, um, admired because Roy Clark... Without a good writer, the series probably wouldn't be what it was at all. He's probably the main man in a way. Uh, hello, are you coming to see Bill Owen as well? Uh, yes, I've yeah. come to see the uh, famous wrestling places. Uh, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I'm, yeah. I'm, I think it's cute that they're both together yeah. in the resting place at the same time. It, it sort of, it's quite apt with it being a TV programme and they've worked yeah. together so long, isn't it? Last of the summer wine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did did oh, you like the programme? I did. I did. I still watch it now. Yeah. It's a real um, sort of a tourist attraction for the area, isn't it? It's for Holmford, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Have, um, we have an, an Airbnb in Holmford called oh. Holmford Hideout. Oh, that's and nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Irina. Irina. Oh, so you kind of get um, tourists, obviously, we that do, come yeah. specifically because of the programme. We do, yeah. That's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I suppose they come and see all the tourist attractions in the town as well. We do, we do the cafes and... Where's the main what? Where's the main tourist attractions then? The cafe and the Nora Batty. The, the, the tour. People ask about the tour, the bus tour. That's still going on. It's been yeah. Going on a few years, hasn't it? The bus I, tour. I don't know. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Tour. Yeah. Uh, near the church. Right. Um, open top bus tour. Um, I don't know if it's open. No, it's an old-fashioned bus. A really old-fashioned bus. Right. Right. And he's he's there today anyway. <laughs> And the main two are the, the, the cafe and the Norabatis, I presume, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, people always ask us where, where Sid's cafe is. And, yeah. Oh, right, very good. Well, that's nice. Well, that's lovely. I'm glad you're enjoying your day. OK, well, we'll, we'll carry on, me and Richard will head off. Nice to meet you, by the way. And you. That was cute, wasn't it? There's always going to be fans here, like myself. So, there we go. Well, from this very pretty location of Last of the Summer Wine, we're going to say goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you'll see any new videos. And a comment will be lovely and a thumbs up if you feel like it. But thank you very much. I appreciate that. You take care, everybody. Thank you. See ya.